welcome to Flamingo Chicks. We're going to learn about science by dancing. You just need yourselves, but if you'd like some extras, you could find a scarf or a tea towel or maybe something like this. A ribbon. You can make this using a stick and a piece of ribbon or material. You can pause now to go and find it or carry on without it. Let's start with our welcome circle. Everyone gather round. We're going to become flamingos. One, two, three. <gasps> wow! I want to see your flamingo. Can you show me your flamingo? Does it stand up tall? Or use its eyes to go big or small? Maybe it spreads its wings and stretches out wide. Or does it use its fingers as feathers to hide? Does it stand on one leg? Or use its head to move? I want to see your flamingo get in the groove. Where are we going on our journey today? It's time to find out so we can get on our way. Help me make some magic to reveal the theme. We're going to wriggle and wriggle and point at the screen. Three, two, one. It's Madam Butterfly. We're going to learn all about butterflies and the country of Japan today. Now, to start with, we're going to transform into butterflies. So we're going to close our body, make ourselves small and bring everything together, imagining that you're in a cocoon. And then we're going to wriggle and wriggle through our bodies as if we're growing into a butterfly and we're going to break out of the cocoon. Keep wriggling, everybody. You can wriggle any part of your body. That's it, wriggle, wriggle. Well done. And then we're going to add in a little bit of a stretch or a reach as we start to get bigger. And we're coming out of the cocoon slowly. That's it. Keep reaching. Nice. Keep going. Lovely. And then see, can you make your, your movements bigger again? So we push our way out this time. Pushing our way. Push. You could push with different parts of your body. It might be your legs, hands, it could be your head, or maybe even your nose. That's it, keep pushing. Push our way through. And we are out of our cocoon. Now then, it's time to spread our wings. Did you know that butterflies are not able to fly straight away? They have to make sure that their wings are really dry before they're able to fly. So, we're going to just stretch our wings first. Now you could create wings using your arms and hands like this. Or you might want to think more about stretching through your whole body or the centre of your body. Or maybe stretching through your neck and your head. That's it. Or you might use your legs to make wings. It's completely up to you, but we want to think about having a nice big wide stretch, getting those wings ready. And then we're going to dry them off. So we're going to start by moving up and down. Oh, that's it. Remember, you can do this with different parts of your body. So it might be your arms, you might be going up and down with your head, or maybe your legs, or maybe your whole body. Up and down. And then see, can you go a little bit faster? And then can you shake everything and make sure that everything's dry? Get those wings dry. That's it. Dry everything off. Lovely. Make sure those wings are dry. And another big stretch. Lovely and relaxed. Okay, we're getting there. We're going to be flying in a moment. But the next thing we need to do is make sure we've had some food so that we're ready to fly. 
Did you know that butterflies taste through their feet? <gasps> How exciting! So we're going to see if we can use our feet or the bottom half of our body to pretend that we're tasting some really yummy food. So you might do that by using your pointed feet like this. So I'm picking them up, putting them down, having a little taste and a taste. Or you could do a little wiggle with a foot or a leg maybe, and that's your tasting. That looks great everybody. Or maybe it's about using the bottom half of your body and moving the bottom of your half of your body around. That's it, keep tasting everyone. Make sure you've got lots of food so you've got lots of energy for your flying and dancing. Well done. Nice. Okay, there's one thing left to do before we can fly, and that is to make sure that we're really nice and warm. Butterflies are not able to fly if they're cold, so we're going to make sure we're warm by giving ourselves a big hug. <gasps> now, you could give the person or people that you're dancing with a big hug if you want to. That's it, give yourself a hug. Or make sure you're nice and warm. You can have another wriggle as well if you want. That's it. And then let's reach those wings out again. Oh, great. So our wings are dry. We've had some food. And we're nice and warm. That means that we're ready to fly. We're going to go on a journey across the world to Japan. Are you ready? Great. Here we go. Get those wings big. And we're going to fly. Three, two, one, go! Flying! <gasps> Amazing! We're going to fly across the world. Keep flying everybody. That's it. Reaching through. Reaching through. If you've got a ribbon, you might like to use your ribbon or material to fly like this. <sighs> flying. That's it. Moving it in different directions. You might like to fly up or fly down, or fly side to side. That's really good. Keep flying everyone. We're going to be at Japan soon. Do you know how a butterfly is able to fly? It's because what they do is they contract their body so they bring everything in and hold on. And then they fly in a sort of figure of eight shape. So they move around in a figure of eight. So like the number eight, like this, they move their bodies a little bit like that. Let's have a go. You could do a figure of eight with your ribbon. You could do your eight like this, or you might want to do your eight like that. Use your ribbon to draw it, or your material to draw it. Or it might be more about using your head and your figure of eight as you fly. That's it everyone, wow. Or it might be your whole body moving or shoulders leading. Or maybe you're stretching out with your arms and thinking about each side of your body moving. And we have a gentle sway, a little bit like a figure of eight. Well done everyone, keep going. We're almost at Japan. Oh wow, look, there's Japan. Let's fly down. Fly down and we're going to land in Japan. Wow, we're in Japan. There's lots of beautiful countryside and forests in Japan. And we're going to go on a journey and see if we can find a village. But let's fly through the forests and the countryside first. So keep flying everybody. That's it, keep moving. Well done. Through the countryside. Lovely. Oh, and we've arrived at the village. This is a village where ancient Japanese warriors called the samurai used to live. Now, the samurai used martial arts to move. Has anybody done any martial arts before? Let's try some now. 
So what we think about with martial arts is different ways of moving different parts of our bodies. So we might go big and strong like this. So your whole body big and strong and sharp and quick. Or sometimes things slow down and go very slowly, controlling our movement. And then sometimes we might jump. So you could jump like this. Or maybe you jump with your hands. Or off your legs. We Or one leg jumps and then the other leg jumps. Or maybe your head jumps. Or your shoulders. That's it, keep jumping everybody. Show me your jumps. Well done. So we've got quick and sharp movement which we can use in lots of different parts of our bodies for. We've got slow and controlled movement. Very slowly, using different parts of our bodies. And then we've got our jumping, where we bounce and we make different shapes as we jump. And then sometimes, we freeze in a position. So you might see a martial artist freezing or waiting or standing before they start. So let's try, keep moving and then let's see, let's move our bodies into a position and then can you hold it still for three seconds? One, two, three. Well done, let's try another one, keep moving. So remember you could do big and sharp or you could do slow or you could jump and then make a different position and hold it. One, two, three. Well done, let's do one more. Keep moving. And hold. One, two, three. Well done. Now, in martial arts, we're usually moving with another person. So, who you, who, look at who you're dancing with today. And if you want to, you could turn to face them so that you're facing towards your partner, so that could be your mum or your dad or your brother or your sister, facing them, and then show them your moves. So one person could do theirs, and then the next person does their moves, or you could move together. Are you ready? Let's go. So dancing with your partners, everyone. That's nice, show everybody in your house your brilliant martial art movement. Well done everyone, that's brilliant. You could even hold hands or connect with the piece, people you're dancing with and maybe have a little move together. Can you move each other's bodies? Fantastic, that was really good dancing, well done. Now our butterfly is going to fly out of the village and we're going to go somewhere else in Japan now. Are you ready? So let's get our butterflies back. So we need to just fly again, find those wings. Remember how you do your wings, so you might do it like this, or with your head, or your legs, or the centre of your body, or your eyes. Show me your butterfly wings. Lovely, and we're going to fly again. That's it. Where are we going to go next? Oh, now we've come to meet a geisha. A geisha is a woman who is very, very good at music and dancing. And she does performances that people go to watch. Geisha means person of art. Now, in a dance by geisha, they use gestures, which are movements that tell stories. That is very similar to ballet. So let's have a go and see if we can learn some gestures and make some of our own. So first of all, our butterfly movement could be a gesture. So it might be like this. It's however you've been doing your butterfly, everyone. That could be one of your gestures and that tells us that you have got a butterfly in your story. Lovely. How 
about a flower? So maybe our butterfly goes and lands on a flower. Now a movement I like to do for a flower is like this. I bring the backs of my hands together and then I fold through. So I'm going to open them, send my fingers up, then put the heels of my hands together and open my hands. And then I stretch up like a flower like that. So you could have a go and do it that way if you want to. Or you could think about going from a small position into a long position as your flower grows. Or maybe it's about your fingers opening like a flower. Or even your legs and toes opening out as your flower grows. So it's all about going from small to big. Show me your flower movements, everybody. Wow. That's it. Amazing. Wow, aren't your flowers brilliant? That's fantastic. Well done. Now, in ballet, we often use gestures to tell a story as well. And one of the ones that we do goes under our face like this. Now you might have noticed that geisha paint their face white. So let's see if we can do a gesture under our face. In ballet, this means beauty. Now you could do this in lots of different ways. You might want to use your hand to scoop under your face, or it might be more about moving your face, or maybe moving your eyes. That's it. Or you might scoop with your shoulders instead of your hand. Or it might be your chin that moves around and follows that shape. Well done everyone. So we've done our butterflies that land on our flowers. And they're open to make something beautiful. Well done. Finally, let's finish off with creating our own dancing gestures so you can tell us your story. So you might want to do your butterfly again, or you might just want to move your body freely and see what movement happens. Are you ready? Let's freestyle. Ready? Steady? Go! Wow, everyone! you could. You can make patterns using your material. Lovely everybody, keep showing me your dancing. Well done! That is amazing! Lovely and relax. Well done everyone! Well, our butterflies have had a lovely trip to Japan. It's now time for us to fly home. So let me see your butterflies again. Make sure that your butterflies had something to eat, so remember tasting with your feet. That's it. So it's your feet or the lower part of your body, or you can taste like this. So if you're scooping something up, so make sure you've had something to eat. Lovely, and are you warm? Let's give ourselves a hug again just to make sure that we're warm. Fantastic. That's it. Nice big hug. Or give somebody in your house a hug. That's it. And spread your wings. Ready to fly back home. Ready, steady, go. Flying home. Off we go. Wave goodbye to Japan. Bye Japan. And off we go home. We're going to start with our ballet fingers. This helps us stretch through our hands and fingers. It's a really nice one to help us relax. So you could think about bringing your fingers together or perhaps trying a thumbs up or just opening and reaching through your hands and fingers. That's lovely. So we're bringing them together, we're opening and then relaxing. And somebody could help you do that if that's helpful. So they could open your hands and fingers, maybe even put a little pressure on the ends of your fingers. Opening and stretching. Well done. Next, we're going to come into a circle. 
So you could do a circle through your wrists like this, using your hands and fingers again as well. Or you might like to do a circle with your head. Or maybe your eyes. Or maybe your shoulders. Or somebody might be able to draw a circle on the top of your hand so you can feel that shape. Well done, that's really nice. Let's keep our circles going. Lovely. Next, we're going to make ourselves long and stretch through our whole bodies. So we have a big reach and then we relax it down and float as we come down. So you could do that with your arms, having a big reach up and then float down. Or you might want to think about stretching through the centre of your body and then relaxing. Or maybe use your head going up and down. Or your eyes up and down. Or maybe shoulders up and down. Keep having a go in your own way. Lovely. Make sure you relax every time you come down. So we go long and down. Well done everyone, that's really good. Next we're going to stretch the side of our body. And we're going to think about just moving our head to one side to start with and see if we get a stretch down the side of our neck. Lovely, let's try the other side. Very nice. Now let's see if we can stretch the side of our body a bit more. We find thinking about a rainbow shape is quite helpful for that one. So you could draw a rainbow with your arms, or maybe you draw it with your eyes. Thinking about going up and over, or with your head up and over. You can also make rainbow shapes with your fingers, or like this. There's lots of different ways. Let's have another go to keep moving through your rainbows. Well done, everybody. Very nice. Okay, next we're going to see if we can make the flamingo chicks petals appear. Now to do that, we have to go really small with our bodies and then we go really big and we hope that the petals come out. So let's go small. So we go small, we're gonna bring everything in squeeze as well as we go small and squeeze. Are you ready to go big? Here we go. Ready, steady, go big. <gasps> wow, you did it. That's amazing. Let's do that again. So we go small and squeeze. Ready, steady, big. <gasps> wow. One more. everybody and relax there. Thank you for joining us in dancing today. There's more to explore if this made you say hooray. We have science experiments and arts and crafts for you to try and you can send us your pictures. We would love to say hi. We'll see you next time.